Kevin Harwood and this is Ask a Developer. Our first question today comes from Mark and he wants to know what the improvements in the A7 mean for the iOS platform. The A7 processor looks fast, really fast, up to two times faster than the A6 which is found in the, the iPhone 5 today. In addition, we're also going to get two times improvement on graphics performance. So games are going to look amazing on the new iPhone 5S. It's also a 64-bit processor, which means uh, not much in the short term for apps, um, because today in the App Store, apps really aren't pushing that limit, but it's really setting it up for the future. And I'm excited to see some apps that are going to be made with 64-bit architecture in mind going forward. Our next question is from Ali, and he wants to know why Apple needs a budget iPhone. In the past, Apple's been perfectly content taking last year's hardware and continuing to resell it at lower prices. This has been great in the past, but they are seeing a lot of pressure in the lower end of the market. Apple's new strategy is going to be releasing a phone at that price point every year that's an updated newer model to continue the attack on the lower price range of smartphones. That is great news for developers because more users on the platform mean more users for your app. Our last question is from Mike, and he wants to know what are some good developer resources for getting started with iOS? That's a great question, Mike, and it's actually a great time to get started with iOS development. With iOS 7, Apple's completely reset the App Store, and there's lots of opportunities to go out there and build great products. To get started with iOS development, there are some great resources on the web. First of all, developer.apple.com has incredible documentation for the iOS SDK. I would definitely recommend reading as much as you can on that website. In addition, there's some other uh, resources out there, such as lynda.com. They have some great video tutorials on getting started with iOS. And there's also some really great books available, um, several from A-Press especially that I like, um, that are good resources for developers getting started. Your biggest learning curve is probably going to be understanding Objective-C syntax. Once you get over that, you'll be good. So just push through it and I promise it'll work out. That's it for this week's edition of Ask a Developer. Continue to send us your iOS questions at hashtag askadev and we'll get to them next week.